to those who fall away, it is the voice calling, come back. God is that source. And God is the power which raises them up again. God refurbishes and restores the corruption in the world and the corruption within ourselves. God is that sacred stability which is there for those who are being tossed about in unholiness. God is the safety for those who have made a stand. And God is the guide bringing upward those uplifted to him. And he is the enlightenment of the illuminated. God is the source of perfection for those being made perfect. God is the source of divinity for those being deified. God is the principle of simplicity for those turning toward simplicity. God is the point of unity for those made one. Transcendently, and beyond what is, God is the source of every source. Who generously, and as far as may be, God gives out a share of what is hidden. He is the life of the living, the being of beings, the source and the cause of all life and all being. He commands all things to be, and he keeps them going. We learn of these mysteries from the divine scriptures. We must look to the sages, the prophets, to Jesus himself. Who was this God that he spoke of? Who is this God that we pray to? Who is this God that we appeal to in times of tragedy? It seems as though God is this last refuge of those who have become alienated, alienated from the world, alienated from other people, people who feel the separateness of the human condition.